Hello sir, this is Kadip Pruntino, one of the member of Group 5. So my report is application of error to a compass. The courses and bearing laid on the chart too, but we steer the courses and take bearing using a compass. The compass used with the VC is more commonly a magnetic compass, although some may be fitted with a gyro compass. It is suggested that the section of the rate conjunction with the learning outcome 7 on magnetic compass and azimuth circle. First, we deal with the magnetic compass and the errors involved. The, the difference between the direction as measured by the compass and the true direction as measured on the chart learn, term compass error state differently. It is a angular difference between the true north and compass north. It is named east or west indicate side north on which true the compass north lies. So, based on my report as I read, sir, uh, application of the error to a compass. So, for me, application of the error compass is based on my learning is there have a competition, sir, because to find your true course or true bearing or true heading. And you, you can use a uh, nautical almanac to find the inclination and declinations or the sun or the star and etc. Et uh, GPS heading, uh, nautical table, compass error book. So it is very important this application sir, because to, to find your error, com error to a compass and to compute it and easily to find the competition of this topic so if i if i as i see the picture there has a picture true note and compass note error waste and error waste sir because this is the one of the ca co calculation of application of error to a compass and the next reporter will continue this thank you sir good day sir i am himothy sir of gerald from group five our topic is about application error to a compass and now I am going to explain what is variation and deviation. What is variation? Variation is the angle between true bearing and magnetic bearing. So what is true bearing? True bearing is a bearing obtained using a gyro compass. And what is magnetic bearing? Magnetic bearing is, an, is a bearing obtained using a magnetic compass. So I have here an example on how to get the variation. Assuming there is no impact of ships, structures, cargo, or components on a magnetic compass. So, for example, our true bearing is 262 degrees true. And our magnetic bearing is 270 degree. So, what is our variation? So, I have a graph here. This is the north, east, south, and west. In the north we have 00, zero degree, in the east 0, 090 degree, and south 180 degree, and the west 270 degree. So our magnetic bearing is 270, and assuming our true bearing is here, 262 degree. So now what is our variation? Our variation is the difference between 270 and 262 degree, which is 8 degree. So our deviation here is 8 degrees west. So why west? Using the rule of thumbs, we have a magnetic best, magnetic best variation west magnetic last variation east so when we say magnetic best it is more than the magnetic last so our our true our uh, magnetic bearing is much more than than our true bearing so magnetic best is variation west so that is 
so that's why we named it west now let's go to the deviation what is deviation deviation is the angle between magnetic bearing and compass bearing so what is compass bearing a compass bearing is a magnetic compass on the ship gives us compass bearing as it is influenced by the structures on the ship and now I will give you some example on how to get the deviation in the deviation our magnetic bearing is 270 degree and our compass bearing is 265 degree so what is our deviation so another example north east west uh, south and west 90 degree 180 degree 270 degree so our magnetic bearing is 270 which is here and assuming our compass bearing is 265 degrees here so what is our deviation our deviation is the difference between 270 and 265 degree which is 5 degrees so our deviation is 5 degree east so y east again using the rule of thumb compass best compass best deviation west compass last deviation east so in our case our compass is less than our magnetic bearing which is the 270 degree and our compass bearing is less than 270 which is 265 so that's why we choose this the compass less deviation east deviation east so that's why we named it 5 east so good morning everyone i am Bukadet Edilberto Sigaloy and i am here now to explain and discuss about the rules for applying variation and deviation so to avoid drawing the to avoid drawing diagrams every time variation and deviation are applied a number of memory aids have been developed to clearly the rules of application Television makes the company reminds us that to true we must apply variation to find magnetic and to this we apply deviation to arrive at compass which is the course bearing. If we start with a compass bearing and wish to convert to true so that it can be used on the chart in order to operation is reversed which is the CDMVT. Having decided the or order in which apply variation and deviation, we need to know whether the correction should be added or, or, or subtracted. This may be decided using the word CADET. This simply indicates that to get from compass to true, we add east. Given that we add east, it follows that we must subtract west. It also follows that if we add east, to get from the compass to true, we should add west when we are going to true compass. And this is a simple layout for applying variation and deviation so deviate so from changing from compass to true so the true is the compass course is 215 degrees the deviation is six degrees west the magnetic course is 209 and the variation is 11 east from the chart 
and the true course is uh, 220 true so this is uh, at east so number two is changing from true course to compass so true course is 220 true the variation is 11 from the chart and the magnetic compass is 209 degrees uh, from true to compass subtracted to east and the deviation is uh, plus 5 degrees west from table uh, 210 and the compass is 214.5 degrees uh, add west so for most practical purposes this compass course is sufficiently accurate but to be strict correct we should uh, re-enter the deviation table with a compass course of 214 rather than magnetic course of 209. In this case, uh, deviation would be uh, 6 degrees west and the total working as follows. So the true course is, uh, the new true course is 220 true. The variation is 11 east. And the uh, magnetic course is 209 degrees. Deviation is 5.5 degrees west. And the compass course is 215 degrees. The difference is really like to be great, but beware of a deviation card which indicates rapid changes in deviation. When working with bearings, the same layout is followed but remember that the deviation table is entered when the ship's head not buried. Good day everyone, my name is Lord Sigfried Garbanzos and I am from group 5 and we will talk about compass error. If we expect to take several bearings while steering the one steady course, it makes good sense to arrive <coughs> at a single correction to apply all those bearings. Remembering that the variation remains effectively the same whilst operating in one area and that deviation only changes when we change course. We can find the compass error for the course being steered and apply to all bearings taken whilst on that course. Example, we are steering 076 degrees the deviation from the deviation card for 076 degrees is 3 degrees west and the variation from the chart is 11 degrees east. The compass error combined variation and deviation is therefore 8 degrees east. Since we are converting compass bearings to true, we add east. Therefore, whilst, whilst steering 076 degrees add 8 degrees to any compass bearing to convert it to true. That's all, thank you.